good morning and welcome to today's <laughs> what a way to start a vlog a giant bag falling off a bed hello good morning and welcome to today's video my name is emma stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats and if you are new here we are a disney loving family and we are currently in walt disney world florida staying at animal kingdom lodge and today is our first vlog if you've not gone and seen the travel day go back and check it out I did um, traveling from Manchester to Melbourne, um, Animal Kingdom room tour, a kind of unpack with me. And today we are off to the Magic Kingdom. We had quite a good night's sleep last night, actually. We went, we managed to get to about, oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> we managed to get to about half past nine, I think. And I s woke up at two. Mm. Well, that's seven. <laughs> Two, which would be seven, but then I managed to get back to sleep till four, so I did half nine till four, and I don't think that's bad. The kids did half nine till half five, half five mm -hmm. which also isn't too bad. The key is to stay awake and go to the pool. The kids went to the pool while I unpacked, stay awake as long as humanly possible. So today we are off to the Magic Kingdom. It's going to be hot to combat the heat. We have got um. Rechargeable fans. Um, Ethan has got one of these which is going to fill it with water and it, it's a fan and also it sprays you. We are taking some snacks in. So um, we're taking some crisps in. We're taking um, some gushers. We've got a water bottle to fill it with water, but don't forget you can get free ice water in the parks. We've got uh, suntan lotion on, so I think the plan is to go to the Magic Kingdom and last. You want munchkin? Loads of, water Loads of water fountains if you want to fill up your water bottle. And you can, as I said, get free ice water. Don't don't buy water, it's very expensive. Um, it's going to be hot. <laughs> I'm going to try not to say it's going to be hot. So the plan is to wait here until 7. See if we can get um, a slot to go on Tron. Because Stephen and Erin are very, very keen to go on Tron. I'll go on it if they get one, but I'm not like, it's not like end of the world time for me. Can you just make sure you've got your magic band on, please? Yeah. I don't know where your magic band is now. Day one, or to last. So we've got our magic bands on. These are old, and if you've got a magic band, you've had one before, you can reuse it again. So that's cool. So we're currently just watching the World Cup final, waiting for that seven o'clock, and then when that seven o'clock comes, Hopefully we'll get it, and if we don't, we'll try another time. Or we might end up paying for it, I don't know, I'll let you know. And then we're gonna go to the Magic Kingdom, and see the pumpkins. We're gonna get the bus from here to the Magic Kingdom. So, if you are staying in a Disney resort, you can get into the parks. Anybody can get into Magic Kingdom from half seven. Anybody can. Did you know that? Anybody can. Seems like, yes. But to get into the rides, if you're at a hotel, you can get on the rides about half an hour early. So that just gives you that little extra start. Um, but yeah, if you're not staying in a Disney hotel and you want to go to the park and take some nice photos in front of a relatively empty castle, it's a good time to go. He's wearing an Avengers t-shirt, Marvel socks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's got a Mickey t-shirt on. I've gone for polka dots. Obviously I've gone for chub rub shorts. The hair, how long do you think it before I put my hair up? Um. I'm on the bus. When we're on the bus. I'm going to try and get to the castle and have a nice picture. And then I'm going to just shove my hair up, I think, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be warm. Right, my loves. It makes no difference if you wish me luck, but just wish me luck and manifest in the future that in the past we got Tron. Guys, we did it. We... <laughs> Stephen counted down. We got Tron Group 59, which seems to be, seems very excited about. Um, so I'll keep you posted about that. Uh, Erin and Stephen are definitely going on it. Ethan is 99. No, he's not going to go on it. I might go on it. Ride but yeah. So we probably might do rider swap, but there we go. That wasn't that hard. Why did I feel sick? <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's get to the Magic Kingdom. I thought I would show you the reception while it's all, oh, what are you doing today? <laughs> while it's all nice and quiet. Here we go, here is the lobby of Animal Kingdom. It's absolutely beautiful and it's got that quintessential Disney smell. Um, the windows are all steamed up because it's so hot outside. Um, people are heading towards the buses. That's where we're going. It's beautiful, isn't it, Ethan? So yeah, here we go. A little mooch around. And let's get on the buses. 
let's get there guys I'm just waiting for you to uh, steam up a little bit we are making the walk to the bus we get a bus from this hotel to all the Disney places um, I will say ones like the art of animation and all that lot have the gondolas and they're probably a little bit better I do like the gondolas we're walking down here to the shuttle I'm hungry <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're all steaming up. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't feel too hot, but is this the famous last words? It's quite hot. It's oh, hot you, it, it's, the camera's totally steamed up. Um, I'll see you on the bus, guys. We're here guys, look at the pumpkins. I'm so excited. It's crazy how like no loads of people aren't just stopping to take pictures. But yeah, oh thumbnail right there. We are here and we are gonna queue up to get in. I'm so excited. Guys, we are in the de 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 de. Look, there we go. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow and fantasy. I've lost my family. Here we go. You've got a map, good boy. So you get maps at the front. And let's go. And I'm going to show you some absolutely gorgeous pumpkins. <gasps> oh, I love it. I'm just going to make sure you're clean and you're not too steamed up. <laughs> Look at all the pumpkins, guys. Just said to Erin, the vibes are absolutely. Oh, look at it! Doesn't it look great? Looks so good. I'm going to keep going with you so we can have the reveal of the castle. Do, 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 do. People are like running. <laughs> I'm not running. I'm going to go this way. I think. Can I go this way? And we are ready to see it together. There she is, guys, in all her flipping. <laughs> Did you hear him gasp? In all her absolute joy. Here she is. I forgot how big she is. She just is much bigger than Paris. She's gorgeous. We just had a little, some people take some photos of us, which is nice because it is. A lot quieter this time but I will say I'll show you a bit later where a good place is to have a photo if you're a bit later in the day where's he gone hey it's me and him what are we doing look we're gonna go on board look at the castle <laughs> yes we're gonna go for the early magic hour so we get in half an hour early and we're gonna go and smash out Tomorrowland Speedway Buzz People Mover then go over to um Big Thunder Mountain. I want to go on Haunted Mansion. Cinnamon's. Oh, God, I'm so excited. You excited? Yeah. Good and so I could literally. I won't. I shan't feel. My hair. It's going up. It's going up, guys. I can't live life like this. As tradition. Do you want me to put my foot on it and you drive? Um, yes, please. Go. As tradition, me and my boy road drop to come on tomorrow land speedway. So here we are, having a little drive around, and this is for my friend Jocelyn, who absolutely hates this ride. This one's for you, I'm thinking of you while I'm going around. <laughs> We're very excited because we can see a real Tron, we've not seen it before. There it is, Ethan, look. Ethan thinks it's creepy. I don't think it looks that scary. Oh, you think it's too scary, right, okay. Okay, um, Stephen and Erin have gone to Space Mountain. We wanted to do Buzz, but unfortunately it's not open today, but uh, we love this ride, don't we? It's very simple, cute little ride. It's like Autopia in Disneyland Paris, and it's just a little driving one. We like it a lot. This is my favorite view of the castle. It's just, it's just a really fun ride. I like it. <laughs> Come on the teacup. Just a woman with a fan on a teacup. Ethan likes to spin too fast, so he's gone on the uh, 
going on one by himself. is up and by her I mean me we are just walking to Big Thunder Mountain Ethan just went through water like a water little recommended fountain bit by um Jungle Cruise so he's soaked but he feels a lot cooler I just thought I would show you the old splash mountain which is now gonna be turned into Tiana's food there so Gosh, this part of the park is so quiet. It's crazy quiet, isn't it, Ethan? I suppose there's not much over here, though, really. Like, like it's dead. Whew. Yes, gorgeous. Um, you know, it's cool. I forgot. Oh, maybe if he remembers, I'll let him tell you. So, yeah, that was Splash Mountain. We'll have to come back again to ride that. And then... Thunder Mountain and then we're gonna get food and a drink and we're gonna get a bit of um, air calm. That's the plan. We just need to meet Daddy and Erin, don't we? Mm -hmm. So hopefully they are, are here. <laughs> went on Big Thunder Mountain as you saw. Look, I've got so much highlighter on and blusher on. Um, we just met a couple of the Country Bear Jamboree characters who are over there and this, which I've never seen before. No, it's like a little shoot thing. It's free. It's free to play. By, what's this by? I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, this is free to play. So these kids are well happy. <laughs> and also means I get to have a little bit of a rest. We are going on the Haunted Mansion, or let me turn my fan off, which is one of my favourite rides. And generally, if it says its wait time is 13 minutes, it is like 10 minutes, not very long at all. So we're going on the Haunted Mansion, we love this. Also, oh, it's a lizard. Nice bit of cool bit of air con and then we're going to go get some food um the ride queue the wait times are quite low aren't they jay yeah, they are. yeah so let's get in here we have made it to our favorite Ethan, do you want to just get like a tissue and pop, pop it over there? Go and get a serviette. Or eat off that tray. Munchkin. We have made it to Gaston's Tavern for our favourite treat in the whole of Disney. Which is a cinnamon bun. I'm so excited. Is it the icing free? Uh, I think so. We asked for some free icing. I cannot wait to get this. This is the best snack, hands down. Just the best in the world. And I've also got Fanta Orange, living my best life. We just had our cinnamon bun and we're feeling revitalised, we're feeling alive. And it's a walk on. Oh, Ethan has just put one of these things on his neck, which is like a little scarf that you dip in water. I don't know how it works, it's from Amazon, I'll link it below. Um, but he's gonna have you kind of wet it and then slap it keeping him cool so and we're gonna go on area which is one of my, one of my faves uh, 
<laughs> Stephen just jumped over a rope and nearly broke his neck. He's trying to be fun, Dad. I love this. This is the most Disney ride you can get. I just love it. I feel like I'm proper in Disney when I'm on this. We're in the queue for Dumbo, and if you've got little kids, it's a fair. Not a fair, that's not word, like a park. Like an indoor, like, yeah, yeah. like play area that your kids can go on, but ours are a bit too big. Um, so we're going on Dumbo, it's a classic five minute wait. So if you see five minute wait, it pretty much means you can walk on it. But yeah, if you just go in there, there's like a play area. Um, What's it called? It's the amazing Dumbo. It's like a soft play. But we're going on the ride. And then I think we want to go on Barnstormer. Little weather check in case you think we're going in August. It's, it's, it's warm. <laughs> um, but perhaps not as warm as I was expecting. I think I thought it was going to be as hot as the face of the sun. Uh, and also, it's. What time is it? Time. Quarter past eleven. How many rides have been on? We're on loads. Hi. How many rides have you been on? On eight rides in just over two hours, and we've eaten. So that's good. Is that still working? The calling thing. Yeah. So we're going on Dumbo. For the inside. Everyone should remain fully seated and buckled underneath the seatbelt throughout the entire flight. We walked into the big top shop so I thought I would show you some of the stuff that is on offer for Halloween. We have this beautiful mug which is $25, $24.99. Spirit jerseys, oh my gosh it's so hot. I've been watching some videos and people have been wearing spirit jerseys of a night time. You would simply pass away. We have lounge fly bags and um, these Look at this, this is fab. I won't be able to get this in my case. The glowy Halloween Mickey. Oh, so there's quite a lot of spirit jerseys. A headless horseman who is the um, start of the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Parade mug. I love this cap, it's very cute. This jumper. See, in England, this jumper would be fab, wouldn't it? It's hard to think of stuff that's not absolutely boiling hot. It is $54.99, which is a bit cheaper than the spirit jerseys, I think, which are the jerseys are usually about $70. <gasps> oh, Halloween Crocs. I love them. Oh my gosh, $65, that's a lot, isn't it? Halloween Crocs, a cute hat. They did something similar to this actually in Asda. <laughs> For about four pound, which I've got at home for Ethan. What else is in here? We've got some fun ears, some pumpkin ears, thirty-four ninety-nine again. If you keep your eyes out for Asda at Halloween, they sometimes do some really good Disney Halloween merch. We have got some spooky mini ears. Um, oh, cute little! This is cute. A little bucket with candy corn in. We don't really eat at candy corn in England. If anybody's watching who's not from England, we don't really eat candy corn in England. It's not a thing. Some chocolatey treats, which would melt as soon as you stepped out of this building. So that's a bit, a bit worrying. Some cute t-shirts. I will take you to the world of Disney in another video. So definitely 
subscribed and stay tuned for that and I'll show you all sorts of stuff there. Ethan's found me a pin I would like, which is a succulent in a pin. That's lovely. I put that back. I'm going to get pins another day. That is a good idea. Well done. <laughs> this kind of thing you can usually get in Shop Disney. And if you hold on to like November time, they're usually in the sale. And you can keep them for the next year. I've bought quite a few Halloween things in the sale that I am going to get out this year. But yeah, I love those. Those are so fun. I am going to get him all sorts of pins, so I will show you, but I'm going to wait and get them so I don't have to carry them around. We do collect pins. I collect pins. I have pin boards in my office. Um, I don't really do any pin trading. I just... Ooh, ooh, ooh what, did you, what, what did you see? Oh, you have your eyes on. Well, that one's cute with a little balloon. Yeah, that must be not in the right place, I think. If you are going to do pin trading and pin collecting, these little kits are really good, the starter packs. Yes. So you got you get the lanyard, don't you, with four pins, and that is... Whoops, today's you mentioned, just, just turn it back for me, gorgeous. Yeah, I'll come to that. So that's $40. That's, that does seem quite a bit steep, actually. You're probably better to get them um, two ninety nine ones from Shop Disney. That's a cute, oh I really like those. I wouldn't want to trade any of those though, they're really cool. Yeah, that's the same with me. Some of these I would Yeah, they're that really good ones. One. That one, I might trade some of them. Anyone out there remember when you had Disney dining credits and these were a snack credit? So at the end of your holiday, if you had any snack credits left, you end up just getting loads of these and shoving them in your case and taking them home. Happy days. <laughs> Bring those days back, that would be the dream. Do you remember, see, when you, had, you used to use the snack credits and you'd take back like 10 bags of sweets? They were my favorite. But um, it's only our first day. We'll do shopping another day. We don't need to do it today, do we? Um, I don't want to be carrying loads of stuff around. However, those look delicious. Another thing which seems super popular here is munchlings. Um, and do remember if you live in England or anywhere that has a Primark, they do munch a munchlings range in there. So don't be buying munchlings here for a million pounds. Oh, you trade, you trade. You, you traded pins, let me see. You could trade. I don't, the I... Ones you collect. Which ones do I collect? You know, the ones with the, the flag type thing. Oh. Sorry, he was getting excited about pin trading. Um, so munchlings and stuff they have in Primark. So if your kiddo sees it here and then goes, I want them, just go, oh, we can get them when we get home. I mean, there's probably better range here, but they still do have them in England. Ah, just for some perspective, if you are thinking of buying a call and towel, I bought, this is one for $16. I bought four for £12 in England. So that is a good thing to bring with you. And this fan here, which is $22 I bought, I think was a pound, or might even be 75p in home bargains. Just bear in mind, anything like this, definitely bring it with you because it is a lot more expensive in the parks. You could always go to Target, you could always go to Walmart, but um, yeah, don't get caught short. Is that the right phrase? I think that means you need a wee, but you know what I mean. <laughs> We are currently waiting for Donald to come out here and meet, do a meet and greet. Um, there's Daisy and Minnie and also Goofy. Hey! Woo! He's back. <laughs> oh, I just love it so much. Aww. That's a beautiful hand. So cute. Are we going the wrong way? Oh, this way. Oh. Sorry, there was a big, I walked into a door. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> Just to let you know, we're going on Tron. Nearly lost my magic band, nearly lost a toe. But here we are, Tron. Very cool. Before I chat to you about what I thought about Tron, oh gosh, you've steamed up. We've come to the pool, hang on. <laughs> there we go. We've come to the um, pool. I might unsteam you in a bit. And um, there's flamingos, how cute's that? But I need to get the camera acclimatized to the, uh, the air and I'll chat to you what I think about Tron. We're going to the pool. 
Uh, I was going to say, I don't want to show people in the pool, which is it's just as odd because you can't see anything anyway. Hello loves, I'm around the pool. I think the camera's acclimatised to the mugginess. There's no sun out. Um, we, it's about five o'clock and we're going to spend the next couple of hours in the pool. And tonight we're going to have a chill night, watch a bit of telly, and have some snacks and just generally have a nice time. So you laughed, you last left me before I showed you the flamingos in um, Trom. Loved it, loved it. I'm not really, I'm not really like a big thrill ride person. Also, I'd, I'd read, I don't know, I was a bit, I'd read things about people struggling to get on and I was worried I was not going to fit in the ride, I don't know, fit in the ride. But um, if you are worried about that, there is a like a tester so you can try the seats. You have to kind of sit at a funny angle. So we saw a man, um, he couldn't, he couldn't go on it because of his calves. So yeah, but anyway, it was great. I screamed like this. <coughs> I was like that. No sound came out and I cried. I was like <laughs> It was terrifying. Like, <coughs> but um, yeah, we did it. It was good. Uh, I do think we'll do it again. We did ride a, like, um, there's a little bit where, because Ethan didn't want to come on it, he doesn't like rides like that. So he could just wait there um, whilst we went on it. There was a little, I don't know what it's called, what's the area called? Almost like a little waiting room bit. And um, so yeah, he waited for us. So that was good. If you've got littler kids, obviously you can do a rider swap. You can arrange a rider swap before you go on. But because he was 10, he was he was fine just to wait. Uh, so yes, I think we'll definitely do it again. Maybe we will do it at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party where um, I think the queue won't be very long because once you get the virtual queue, you then, when you get your numbers called, so your numbers called, we were number 59. <coughs> when your number gets called, then you have to go and get in the queue and then you have to queue for like an hour. You don't just walk straight on it, so don't be thinking, oh, I'm gonna go. You have to, you have to, have to queue. And I spoke to somebody and um, a lovely follower. Hello, if that was you, I met a, lovely, a little girl called Lily and her dad said they've been waiting for 90 minutes to get on it, so just bear that in mind. Grab a drink. Once you get inside, it is um, this air conditioning, but you, there is a little bit where you're outside, but yeah, it was brilliant. So today was such a great day. We didn't do any um, lightning lanes. We didn't do any Genie Plus. We just went with the flow, so we how many rides? I think we went on 12 rides and we met eight characters and we had a snack and we were there from about half eight on the ride to about three. So we did a lot of stuff without having to pay for anything. So I don't know if it's the time of the year maybe. But then again, we, when we went at Easter, which is a traditionally really busy time, we, we never we never paid for anything. So my top tip is to get there as early as possible. So that was a lovely little day at the Magic of Kingdom. I hope you enjoyed our adventures. We've got more vlogs coming your way. I'm going to be doing Epcot ones and um, Hollywood Studios and Universal. So please do stick around and subscribe. And I am going to jump in the pool. Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to I'm going to slightly paddle in the pool and clean cool down my very very muggy bits right guys i love you lots